Hi guys, welcome into your reading. <clears throat> we will be reading today for, let me see actually, who should I read for today, Spirit? Leo, strength card just popped out. All right, what's Leo's situation, please? By the way, I'm gonna be cutting four zodiac signs off my roster and I'm gonna concentrate on the eight because I just don't, wow, your card came out again. I just feel like I, I should concentrate weekly on those that are uh, following. Please let me know in the comments down below how you guys might feel about that and how you might feel about uh, doing the extended readings as well. In the extended, we go into your person's actions, feelings, and things like that. What's coming towards Leo? I'll explain that further on in the video, as you will see. What else is coming towards Leo? Okay, it's interesting. You're going to finally get some clarity over your past someone comes forward and reveals some things to you um what is what don't they see coming you guys are starting a new cycle a new chapter the past is done um what's their advice spirit even though you're at the precipice of like still hanging on to your past versus you moving forward into your future. You're like right there. I almost want to push you forward, Leo. Really, truly. Oh, hell yeah. It's time to transition. It's time to transform. You, you need to let go of something here, Leo, that is uh, quite frankly, I hate to say this, but it's beneath you. What's the outcome? I don't even want to say anything bad about the, the past or the situation or the person. It's just that you are evolving as a human being. You, you are elevating in your growth cycle of, the, of your life journey that you've outgrown a person and a situation and a cycle here. It's clear to me. There's so many major arcanas. It's insane. Strength, the world, the hangman, the high priestess, death. This is all telling me a common theme here. There's a common thread. Ooh, let me tell you. Some of y'all gonna be very busy over here with two energies I see here. Your overall message of the week is the five of swords. This is winning at all costs. This can also talk about bittersweet or cutting your losses. I'm going to see how this plays out throughout your week. But you see this person? This person's like, you see here, my friend, I'm holding up five swords. How many do you think you can handle? How many think you, you think you could take from me? And this person right now has none. Where in my other decks, it's usually two or three swords. In here, it's not. Because Spirit is guiding you right now, assisting you, telling you, you're going you're, you're gonna to need to make a sacrifice of some kind if you want a happy life. Now, in the recent past, you, okay, you might have been dealing with somebody, all right, you, you were having a fling of some kind here with someone, or it felt like you were a fling, it felt like it was unrequited love. Hold on one second. I was going to turn off the AC, but I hope you can overhear hear me over it because it's just way too hot. You were having a fling here with somebody, and then it just felt like you were lonely. You were left out in the cold. Although you were being you, positive, happy, and hopeful, you were happy. All right? But then you got all up in your head with the Queen of Swords. You're like, do I cut this out, or do I have a conversation with this person? You, you weren't quite... Some It felt like it was unrequited love. When I see a fling, I see four of cups... It's, it's unrequited love. One of you did not feel the same way as the other person. This can also talk to uh, a missed opportunity here with someone. 
then I have the king of pentacles here. This is an incoming energy. This is the other person. This person is a money person. They're very grounded. They're very stable. It can be an earth sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They made you a solid offer, right? And then you were hopeful and positive over this situation. You remain focused on yourself, your work, your career, your craft, your coin, and then you've reviewed your options. There was a lack of luck with this situation or a lack of luck with this person altogether. It just, nothing was going in your favor with this person. So you remain single and you're like, fuck it. I'm gonna dullo the shit out of this. I'm gonna do it alone. You went and took a leap of faith and you started a new cycle in your life, a new journey, possibly alone, possibly single which is why you have the world here telling me that you started a new chapter because you've resisted someone or something. Now, I don't know if you stood there on your altar of pride and ego or your boundaries, Leo, which is what I more or less feel like. You're like, no, I have boundaries. I have respect. And I stand by the shit that I say. And the one thing you dislike, Leo, is somebody who tries to play you or lie to you. So you stuck by your guns with the strength card right there and you started a new chapter with the world. You said, all right, I'll cut my losses. I'll do what I got to do if that's what it takes. What's coming towards you now is the Ace of Swords. Someone comes along and gives you some honesty, some truth, some clarity, that conversation. And now they or you are seeing it from a different perspective. And this is someone from your recent past, the Six of Cups. So maybe you were missing some information or maybe they were missing some information from you. Why they acted the way that they did, why their behavior was the way that it was, etc., etc. We're going to clarify this in a moment and see what's up. Now, what you don't see coming is the High Priestess and the Two of Wands. At some point, communication will stop with whoever here that you're dealing with. And then your intuition is going to bust the move and kick in. And when your intuition kicks in, Leo, you're going to be at a crossroads. You're going to be the two of wands. The two of wands to me is talking about you looking out to the horizon. You're like, where do I go? Because all I know is it's shit back there. And I see the horizon. I see the sun moving forward. So you are taking a step towards your future. And your future doesn't have this shit in it at all. Not even possibly this person. Because you're on and off talking to them anyway. Again, we'll clarify and we'll see what this is all about. Now, your advice. The Queen of Wands and Death. This first popped out death. This either talks about transformation or ending a situation. In your advice, this is loud and clear. Okay? Ending something. Because you are here. You need to transform. It is exactly what I was telling you earlier because all of these major arcanas are telling me you are transitioning, you are moving, you're growing, you're evolving, you're vibrating at a higher level and somebody can't meet your vibration or won't. So Spirit's like, you've got to end something for your own good because here you are, you're the queen of wands. Others of you, this is ending a third party situation. If you're a mistress <coughs> or a mister, because you're the third party, it's time to end it. I hate to say that, but it's because I did see a fling back there. And then you got an offer after that. So I don't know if that was like messing with your head, but I see that you stuck by your guns. Outcome, King of Wands. Do, do, do. I like this. King of Swords. Do, do, do. I like this too. We have two incoming energies vying for your attention, Leo. Now we have somebody over here who's a fire sign like yourself. Someone feisty, someone attractive, someone sexy, someone passionate, lots of chemistry, good looking. That's the fire sign. Also Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone in your element home. There's also the King of Swords. Another match, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Somebody very cerebral, very fair, very honest, very balanced, very smart. Both these kings, which are incoming energy, so they're male or female, okay, because you're my queens, my audience. Whether you're male or female listening to me, you're my queens. This is how I discern the incoming and who's who. These are two energies that are coming towards you guys. One is cerebral, smart, intelligent, and you have great conversations. The other one, you have a lot of passion and chemistry. 
Page of Cups, texting or offering an apology or a small little gift. But to me, this looks like an apology because he looks like he's begging over here in this picture. Others of you is just simply texting you. But I, again, I like how these kings are in the upright position, so they're working in your favor. Now, let's go ahead and start clarifying these cards. All right, we'll use the other deck. Strength and the world. strength and the world please page of cups page of cups someone's texting you or offering you something here and it's like a somebody here is trying like there's a second chance here with somebody and they're offering you some kind of an apology. And now you're weighing your pros and cons. This could have been somebody that rejected you. Queen of Cups in reverse. This can also talk to the, the idea that you feel like a lot of you could have been emotionally abused by this person. Or they used emotional tactics against you with this Queen of Cups in reverse. Interesting. So here you are weighing your pros and cons. You're definitely starting a chapter book because I see you holding back anyway. Yep. You might have been in hermit mode and now you're coming out to play finally. You probably got frustrated over this situation. You're like, fuck this. I'm not going to stay home. I'm going to go out and be myself. And you started a new chapter when you did this. But then somebody here came along, apologized to you, tried to ask have a second chance with you but you're holding back you're not you're not in you're not feeling it queen of cups in reverse i told you you're my queens that's you being emotionally blocked not available what's the ace of swords you're weighing your pros and cons though ace of swords and the six of cups and the hangman in reverse Yeah, there's these arguing wow so this is in your future position so when this person comes along from your recent past to have this conversation with you this ace of swords because the ace of swords is clarifying the ace of swords there's going to be some arguing some competitive nature where you you're arguing back and forth with one another and i think it's because this person is either you're doing this or they're doing this Trying to make the other person see it from their point of view, from their perspective. That's why the hangman is here. And that's what's keeping you stuck. Like somebody here is saying, look, you have to, you have to understand where I'm coming from, what my situation is. And then the other one is, this is an example. And the other person's like, I don't really give a shit about your situation. I got to take care of me. So it's like, you want me to take care of you and I'll allow you and your situation to be okay with this? I'm not. It's something like that. It's something where you're like arguing back and forth over this truth. Someone's trying to force the other person to see it from their perspective. The emperor would do that. At the bottom of the deck because the emperor does take control. It's not a negative thing. It's just I think this person wants to be understood. All right, let me see what else is going on here. Two of Wands and the High Priestess. Star, which is Aquarius energy. The two of Wands is clarified by the Two of Wands. You're at that where do I go crossroads. You're, you, you got the world at the palm of your hands. And you know it, Leo. You know it. You know you can make moves, big baller moves too. So you're like sitting here holding the globe. You're looking out into your future. You're like, Wh which way? But you know that you're going because the one rod represents your walking stick into the future. The other rod represents the past. And you're like, I'm not going to go there. So you're hopeful. 
and you're optimistic and you're positive about moving into the future, even though you have stopped talking to somebody here, intuitively you know. You know that the situation is toxic. This person's like the fucking devil to you. Capricorn energy. Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. All the major arcanas are here. Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces. Pisces is here twice. Scorpio's here. Um, before the Emperor, which is Aries. Everyone's here. But that's what you're doing. You're trying to avoid this toxic shit. What's death and queen of wands, please? This is for, I don't know, for all of you, some of you, please take this advice with a grain of salt because it's extremely specific. And usually my advice isn't this specific. It's usually a lot more generalized. But with death and queen of wands, it's now definitely telling me this is about you being the third party, the mistress or the mister, the one that is the third party. The lover, it's clarified by the lovers in the sun and pentacles. Spirit's like saying you invested way too much time as a lover way too much time do you want to be a lover forever and then that's it i don't think so this is what you're trying to avoid you know this now about yourself you're like i'm not dealing with this devil bullshit i don't want to be a fucking lover for the rest of my life i need to look into my future because i want some kind of stability so that's what it felt like before where this person comes in from your recent past trying to give you some truth that's nice. You could take the truth. I appreciate the truth, but you'd shove it because like, I don't really give a shit that you're married or you're stuck in a marriage or you're doing this or you're doing that. Anyone who gets a divorce, you know, it's not an easy fucking thing to do, you know, but kudos to you for doing it because you're, you're doing the right thing. You know, it comes with backlash. You know, you have kids, you know, you have family that you're going to upset. You know, it's going to disrupt your home your living life, your routine, your finances. We get it. We know it. But somebody who pulls themselves out of an energy that is so difficult like that, that person de deserves admiration because they did a difficult thing. The shitty thing to do is stay in that situation and use somebody else for their own happiness because it's easier for them. That, it to me, makes me feel like th unfair. It's unfair. Make the moves. And I feel like, Leo, this is what you're doing. You're putting your foot down. You're standing again. Like, I felt like I was saying this with Aries, too. You're standing on the altar of your beliefs, your boundaries, your values. And in your advice, Spirit's like saying, what are you doing? You stayed in the love ship far too long as a lover. Those of you who are not dealing with just a lover, because let me tell you something. This ain't no husband or wife, kids. This ain't even a couple. This is somebody who either who just met and have a profound connection and they're figuring out, or this is somebody who's in a third party situation or an illicit affair. Now, if you're somebody who just met them and you invest a little time and energy, you need to remove yourself. This has to be something else, a relationship, something grounded or nothing at all. Spirits like you're hurting yourself. There, there's something far better for you around the corner. I could be wrong, but that advice is very specific. Now, what is the King of Wands and the King of Swords and the Page of Cups? Because let me let, let me tell you, my friends, you have options. You have options. Look at you, Leo. Like, all of this is what you're saying, and they can't just, like, move on with me? No, somebody else will want all of this. And they will, because you, obviously you have two kings back here in your outcome. Clarified by Hermit, the Virgo card, and the two of swords, clearly. Okay, so you have retracted your energy, or you will be, because it's the outcome of the week. You are going to retract your energy, Leo, because you're going to be torn. You're like, shit, what do I do? On one side, you have one one energy, which is that air sign and on the other side you have the king each one represents the sword and you're like hmm what do i do because you don't know what to do you, well you won't be 
you're going to be confused and you're going to retract your energy and you're going to go within. You're going to do a self-imposed timeout to try to make a wise decision here because somebody comes along and probably apologizes and asks for forgiveness and it confuses you. So there might be a new person versus somebody that, you know, somebody that you recently started investing energy with. And then you have this old energy that comes along and apologizes. But let me tell you something. I need to remind you, okay, because the devil is at the bottom of the deck. Don't repeat patterns. Don't repeat cycles. You did all this heavy lifting for a reason. And spirit now is guiding and coaching you along. You don't want to be third party. You don't want to be just the lover, okay? Because at the bottom of the deck, you have the magician, meaning you can manifest anything that you want. Somebody here has manifested you, which is toxic. Trying to get out of a divorce or a marriage, higher font in reverse. And this is down the pike stuff. Let me see what your romance angels have to say, Leo. What we got for Leo. I have a feeling it's Capricorn I'm going to end up cutting out of my roster so far. Wow. When the cards are on point. So for me, I, I have a profound respect for Oracle cards because <clears throat> this is Team Leo. This is your ancestors guiding you. This is spirit guiding you. This is them upstairs looking at us downstairs, being like, oh my God, what is my grandchild doing? Or, oh my God, what, what is, you know, Sally doing? It's not for her greatest and highest good. Sally, oh my God, we know you're human and we know you can make mistakes. We get it, but oh. And so we have Oracle cards really guiding us, right? So look at this card where it says free yourself. Do you see that? You guys are a unicorn and you've penned yourself up for somebody where I said, does not deserve this, does not deserve you. That you can't just be a lover. When you have death in your advice, you need to free yourself of a situation, okay? Codependency, some of you guys have gotten comfortable to the situation. You, them, the both of you. See, in the extended, we would clarify this with Tarot. Then we would see how your person feels about you, their intentions towards you, uh, the actions they will take towards you, and then what spirit has. That is something I might do in September should I move forward with Leo readings. But look at this, free yourself in codependency. It gets easy, it gets comfortable, but this is not what you want. Because ultimately one day, you're gonna be old and gray and you wanna wake up in the morning, have a cup of coffee and have your person sitting across from the table from you so you could discuss news, events of your life, the shit that happened to your family or the, whatever it is that you like to talk about. That's the point of life, right? To find and make us happy, to be with our ultimate person. Or are you just okay to be a lover? Codependency. No one is responsible for the other person, nobody. You just have two separate individuals who come together to share a life, not depend on one another. And, so, and now it just looks like it's just so used to just having somebody there, even though they're not the, not the right one, they're there. I'm not saying that's you, Leo, but somebody here is codependent. Religious factors at the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys could be dealing with somebody that is profoundly different from you in race, in ethnicity, can be a uh, culture, any of the above, pick, take your pick. Now let's get a card from the Wisdom House of Night and we will wrap up your reading, guys. No, you know what? Let's get a reading from Moonology because I feel like Moonology is going to give you the right advice for this situation, to be honest with you. Universe, Angel, Spirit Guides, and I will read from the book, so please stay by, stay, yeah, stand by because... Again, oracle cards are great, 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 great listening tools from our spirit guides. Leo, please, what do they need to do to help them along? Leo, please, to help them along. Thank you. Meant to be, I'm telling you. New moon in Leo. There you are. There's your card, baby. Confidence is key to your success. I knew it. You're in a situation right now where you have to stick to your guns. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see.
this card heralds the start of a new cycle for you when you're going to look and feel more gorgeous more in the spotlight more like you have something worth showing off if you want someone's attention this card says it's coming however this may not happen all by itself you have to be willing to do your bit that means being proud of who you are and what you have to offer <laughs> Think of yourself as the king or queen of the jungle and carry yourself accordingly. This card is also a great omen if you're asking about a creative project you're working on. Alternatively, it can herald good news or a new star for children. Um, make sure you, have time, you make time to have fun as well. Additional meanings of this card is it's time for you to show the world what you've got, shine your light, have some pride, uh, spoil yourself, you've earned it, you're you've turned someone's head you've turned multiple heads with those two kings over there the teaching of this card is the sign of the big and brave hearted lion okay of uh, pride men and of showmanship and flirting the energy around the new moon in leo and therefore around this card whenever you pick it is a hot and generous one the energy loves itself and so should you if you've been too much of a wallflower, this new moon card and the new Leo moon comes as a reminder that you need to be proud of who you are. Because you're taking hermit mode. You're taking a back seat. You're pulling and you're, you're, you're just pulling your energy away. But I can see why you're doing this. You're going within because this cave is representative of your, your soul, your heart space. And the, the cave entrance is the heart. So this is about you holding back very very interesting remember leo this whole entire reading was very much to me blast and bring on that confidence and that braveness of uh who you are all right guys uh leave me your comments down below and i will see you on the next one